The overall goal of this procedure is to analyze the chemical composition of laboratory-scale hydrocarbon flames to develop a detailed understanding of soot formation in combustion environments. This is accomplished by first establishing burner-stabilized premixed flames under a reduced pressure of about 20 to 80 millibars. The second step is to withdraw gases from these flames and to then determine the chemical identity of the sampled species by using a custom-built time-of-flight mass spectrometer with vacuum ultraviolet photoionization. Next, the concentration of these species is determined as a function of distance from the burner. The final step is to use a similar approach to study the chemical composition of combustion-generated soot particles, which are the results of the gas phase formation processes. Ultimately, flame sampling mass spectrometry with vacuum ultraviolet photoionization is used to show that resonance-stabilized radicals are important intermediates and that one simple mechanism cannot explain all observed soot components. While this method can provide insight into combustion processes, it can also be used to study atmospheric chemistry, molecular dynamics, and kinetics, among other things. First, establish a 1 liter per minute flow of argon and a 1.5 liter per minute flow of oxygen through the burner surface and maintain a pressure of 80 millibars in the flame chamber. Position the hot wire igniter over the burner surface. Then, set the hydrogen flow to 0.4 liters per minute and quickly activate the igniter. After ignition, turn off the hot wire igniter and reposition it away from...